Hello, darling. <laughs> oh, he's too cute. <laughs> So we are about 10 minutes from going down to pick up Mr. Moose and bringing him back home. Um, I am going to document the journey so that you can see exactly what it takes to successfully integrate a brand new puppy into family life. The lab in the picture behind me is my very first lab, Merlin, who's always held a really special place in my heart. So I am on my third black lab now. Um, so I, hopefully I know what I'm doing and hopefully I'll be able to bring you some words of wisdom as we go. So I'll see you soon. Where's your paws? Where's your paws? Can you see his white bits? <laughs> <laughs> He's got his little calum smudge. Mm. <laughs> Come on, little man. You've got such a busy life ahead. Candy cross, gun dog training, teaching naughty pooches. <laughs> you wanted a quiet life. It's not going to happen, is it? This lot, they're so lively. They're so lively. I'm getting eaten alive. <laughs> Three generation pedigree. Dairy spiel and all her advice. What they're being fed at the minute. My puppy coach training videos for all the other 
Happy people taking their puppies home. What else have we got? Your contract, really important. Not that, not that he will be coming back, Derry, but. <laughs> his animal tracker and his insurance. And then we've got all the health stuff at the back. So these are all his parents' health check-in. Hips, elbows, eye scores, health certificates. And that's mum and dad. So Callum and Annie. And then a picture of mum in the back. And then I've got this whole bunch of stuff. It's like Christmas. Goodie bags of things. What's that? A little placement. Look at me talk about spoil. This is amazing. Thank you very much, Derry. Here we go. I'll right. carry him out for you. Your amazing work, You're job welcome. delivering me my new baby. <laughs> He's I know. <laughs> I feel like I've uh, I've got a, a bit of a mission ahead of me to produce what I did before. <laughs> oh, you've got the good stuff. I, I remember your words. You, you can come and stay again if he's like Hogan. <laughs> okay. No pressure. <laughs> so horrible, isn't it? And they don't got a clue what's going on. Who is this strange person? Hello, darling. At least you've got whiskers that are straight, unlike Hogs that are reject whiskers. That's what Hogan cried all the way for the first bit, didn't he? Do you remember? I think I might be stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me. For me, it seems that you're dropping clues. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. Dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind, my mind. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning building can You little tail's going the whole time. <laughs> Find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. First wee wee's away from home. Good boy, darling. Yay! You're too clever. You're too clever. Oh my word, slow down, slow down. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> He's uh, savage, Bobby. What are you doing? Oh, don't eat me. I don't, I don't think so much for um, so much for that keep him occupied on the way home. <laughs> yeah, that do. I'll be spending around about three or four nights downstairs on the sofa just to make sure the transition from being with the litter mates into a normal family domestic environment goes smoothly and we're going to document every bit of it along the way. Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. Yes. Come on in. 
Good boy. What the hell oh. is this? He doesn't know what that is. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed our little journey home. We're gonna bring you more tales of Moose and his little adventures with the rest of us. If you like what you see today, then please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching guys. See you again soon. We're off to bed, eh? First night in our new home. Night night. <laughs>